My name's Thomasina Myers, although most people call me Tommy. And I'm a cook, I'm a food writer. I co-founded Oaxaca 10 years ago now. And I am the mother of three girls, Tati, Ottie, and Isadora. I started cooking when I was about six years old. I basically never wanted to be more than a millimetre away from my mother. <coughs> Darling, sorry. And I just found it fascinating the way from some onions she could create this mass of silky sweet things that could make us all taste delicious. And so I was always just opening up the cookbooks when I came home from school. It's classic this book. It's like printed that way. But yeah. Actually it's this way. I love cooking and I love chucking stuff on things. I drizzle olive oil over everything. My mother literally cannot believe how much olive oil I get through. I, I think I drink it. I was thinking like a thin sauce. This is Carlos. Carlos is Oaxaca's development chef. And we are trying. Caesar salad was invented by a Mexican called Cesar in Acapulco in the 60s. Um, so it is in fact a Mexican recipe. And we are trying to come up with the best Caesar salad for our, our new restaurant in Shoreditch. I discovered Mexican food when I was 18. I travelled around the whole country. I ate at every street food stand. Everywhere where I saw the locals at, I would just go and eat. I like prided myself on being able to like out macho the men with like just trying to eat their potters chilies. And I came back just thinking it's such a fun food. And I looked all over London and I realised there was no Mexican food. And that's, that ignited my interest. I think clothes should be about fun. I absolutely love getting dressed up because I love picking things out of my wardrobe and putting outfits together. And I love looking relaxed and wearing fun t-shirts and feeling young. I will be wearing crazy t-shirts and probably mini skirts when I'm 80. So I've got to grab my blazer to go to work. Late as always. If you can do something you love as a career, that's the biggest gift because let's face it, we all spend most of our lives working and it is such a joy coming to work. We're all running too fast and if I look to my parents' generation, they just did less. They just did less and they enjoyed themselves more. Being a mother has made me a bit easier on myself. And there's all these messages we get about not being perfect enough, not being a good enough mother, not working hard enough not looking the perfect woman, and it's rubbish. You are an absolute terror. Shit, what's wrong with this oven? Why did you say it's terror? Because uh, I'm so naughty. You quickly realise that you just can't be perfect. There's no room in life to be perfect. So we can only do our best, and that's all that matters. So when I get home at night, just picking up a wooden spoon or a chopping knife and chopping some onions or stirring a sauce relaxes me. It is so important to see people. It's so important that we all keep seeing the people we love. The best thing on earth is to sit around a kitchen table with the people you love and eat food with them. That is the magic of life. So over the years, I've just amassed a whole heap of tricks and, and easy ways to feed people quickly when you've literally got no time. So this is the trick, is just have some things that are already made. My freezer is my biggest friend because I buy things from the market and then shove them in the freezer so that if suddenly I've got 10 people for dinner I can take out some chicken livers and throw a chicken liver pate together 10 minutes and it doesn't matter that people arrive and you're still cooking nothing has to be perfect nothing has to look done what people want is to see you the food is the side thing but if you can make it and cook it yourself it will taste delicious anyway and that's true of all food if you're kicking it for your friends, that's what they're going to taste, the love that you put in it for them. Well, cheers everyone! Cheers! cheers. <laughs>